Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey in all teams. We're back for another logo ranking video, and this time we're talking about the um, the Maritime yeah. Hockey League. So yeah. close to home. Close to home. They play like here. Yeah, you live on, on Prince Edward Island. I live in New Brunswick. I'm here visiting in Prince Edward Island. Yep. And there's could be a Prince Edward Island team in here. So perhaps. Yeah, you know, hopefully, you know, contain your your home biasm here, but. So I've ranked them number 13 to 1. There's 13 teams in the league. My okay. least favorite to favorite. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's some logos in here that you haven't seen before. But yeah. I know you're familiar with quite a few teams in here. But, Certainly. Yeah. Uh, so you're just going to give me your opinions on each one. Right on. So let's start off with number 13, the Amherst Ramblers. I, I actually like purple as a color, even though I'm a guy. Uh, but this logo is terrible in my opinion. It's just a big A that, and then it just says Ramblers. That's just lazy. Uh, I think this is a missed opportunity. I don't like it at all. That's why I ranked it last place. If you were named the Ramblers, what what visually depicts a Rambler? It's not an animal. Uh, it's, it, it's a car. There's an old car called a Rambler. Yeah, it's Obviously, before my time. You wouldn't want to have that in your hockey jersey. Why would you even name a team the Rambler? I don't know. It looks like Gambler, and because it looks like Gambler, I'd have like dice or something. Or just call them the Gamblers. Or just, or just call them, just call them the gamblers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Not a fan. Uh, don't know why. There may be a history there that we should know. But I'm sure uh, there is, yeah. I don't. Number 12, the Truro Bearcats. <laughs> There's a... This is in interesting. you got two animals combined here because the bottom half is looks like the old Pan Florida Panthers logo. Okay. With the... The small feet kind of perspective and then the claws right and then the bear at the top bear cat uh it's i don't it's terrible though i don't, I don't like it it looks very awkward it looks like a i mean it's made to look like the feet are way behind and then the face and the claws are above but it looks like he's got really tiny legs and he's like standing out straight he's got really tiny legs and a big giant head and shoulders and it just doesn't work for me so okay. Thumbs down for this, yeah. All right, I'm, yeah, I have no <laughs> more favorable view of that than you okay. do. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Woodstock Slammers. I, I mean, it's a, it looks like, to me like a dead Viking, like a kind of like a skeleton, a half dead Viking kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that has to do with Slammer, but I mean, I don't dislike this logo. It, I just don't love it. Yeah, I. To me, of the what we've seen so far, it has you know I think it probably would be, look good in a jersey. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah, uh, but I don't know what it has to do with the team name. Yeah. All right, this is the Pictou County Crushers. Crushers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was called something and then Crushers, but yeah, Weeks Crushers. Pictou County Weeks Crushers. Right. <laughs> is that is that right? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very unique logo. Um, I don't know what that guy is supposed to be. He's a miner, he's, I think. Okay, because he kind of got that army sergeant kind of angry look to him. Yeah, he's he's got yeah. what you know normally we picture mining hat or helmets as having a light in the front of them, you know, coal mining down in the pits. But yeah, uh, he looks like it looks like a miner's hat. And, okay, and that part of Nova Scotia does have some mining going on, so that might be something to do with this. All right, and and I know that they also have. A lot of rock crushing and gravel going on. So maybe, this, that, that maybe that's what it too. is, yeah. Yeah, maybe gravel mining. Most of the gravel in Prince Edward Island comes from northern Nova Scotia. Would make sense. That's where it comes from. And there's piles of it at the Charlottetown Harbor hmm. uh, this week. It's just like, what, sandstone here and stuff? Yeah, no. sandstone and sand. And, and, sand. and yeah. clay and mud. And yeah. there's not much solid stuff to build on. So we have to import it. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like it. It's, yep. he's, he's angry. He's got, you know, that's the hockey stick in his... And his teeth breaking it in half. Uh, the font's very unique, the crushers. Yeah. It comes together with the hands on, on the outside and stuff. And he's missing a tooth, which is a classic hockey. Very uh, classic, yeah. <laughs> I wish the, so, the circle in the background wasn't there with the words. It was just him with the, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The Marishi Timberwolves. <sighs> my grade nine homeroom teacher, Mr. Menzies, at that time was the coach. That's right. Of the Marishi Timberwolves. Exactly. So, yeah. Have a bit of a connection here. Yeah. Uh, it's a very devilish kind of wolf grin he's got going on there. He's up yeah. to something. A uh, little, little bit of bias in here, so I had to rank this a little higher because I'm familiar with the team. He reminds yep. me a little bit of Wiley e. Coyote from he the does. cartoons. You know, he's got yeah. 
He's got something going on. He does. He's, yeah. he's found a way to get that Roadrunner. Yeah. yeah. And we've got some family Miramichi as well. So. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we are Miramichi people. So uh, that's our that's our peeps. Yeah, but lots of detail in the in the wolf. Uh, I like him. Yeah, I like him too. Ah. Number eight, the closest team to us currently geographically is the Summerside Capitals. The Western Capitals well, actually go by. Western Capitals. Even though the Western's written small, it's kind important. of important. Important, yeah. Because Charlottetown is actually the capital of Prince Edward Island. Right. Summerside is not. And then they're in the west part of yeah. the island, yeah. Yeah, they're in the western part of PEI. Looks nice. Though. I Yeah, I like the logo. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, the same kind of Washington Capitals colors, red, blue, and white. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of letters, but I still like it at the same time. It's contained nicely in mm -hmm. the shell of the colors. Yeah, so. yeah. Number seven, the... Valley, Valley Wildcats. Wildcats. I really like the character that they've got going on here. Number one, he looks angry. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, he's wearing hockey gear. He's got a helmet on, he's got gloves, he's got a stick, he's got a jersey. And the A coming down from Wildcats looks like his tail. Oh, uh, yeah. And underneath him. So I think that this is a very well designed logo. Mm -hmm. uh, not a huge fan of the, the giant V in the background, but I don't hate it. I like the colors, even though it's. Uh, it's a little more than black and white because you've got some gray in there, so it's a, it's a little better. Got some color in his eyes. The the thing I hate the most about this, or maybe the only thing I hate about this, is the font of the valley. It's like Times New Roman or whatever. It's just, yeah. yeah. Could be a little more unique. But other than that, I like it. Cool. Yeah, I do too. Looks good. Number six, the Dieppe Commandos. Oh, that's nice. It's Yeah, it's it's cool. You know, he's it's very unique. He's got the shield in the background. He's an army guy, clearly. He's got the stick, he's got the gloves, he's got a, an army helmet, he's got the dog tags. Mm -hmm. I like the colors. It's not a yellow, it's more kind of like a beige army, that army sand, sand color. Yeah. I like it. I do too, and I think you know it's important to probably guess at the military connection here. The, the town of Dieppe is part of the Moncton urban area. Right. And Dieppe, I think, used to be called Robichaux, or Robichaux office. But after World War II, after the Canadians did a raid on Dieppe, I think in 1942, um, it was to test the German defenses. And there was a lot of casualties, but we learned a lot. And the Dieppe raid is, is an important part of Canadian military history. And the town of Dieppe is named after that location in France where the raid took place. Cool. That probably <clears throat> links into this. I didn't know that. Yeah. Very cool. The Yarmouth... Junior A Mariners. Arr. It's uh, it's a very ugly logo, but I mean the guy is very ugly. His chin is massive, but he's an old timer. He's an old dude, an old fisherman. Mm -hmm. I love blue and yellow together. Uh, I like the, the compass kind of thing, whatever that is in the background. Yeah, compass rose. He's got the sou'wester on. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I really like it. Even though he looks a little strange, I like it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot too. That's great. All right, the uh, South Shore Lumberjacks. So a very unique character here. He's got, you know, his, his axe. He's got a, a beard for number one. Hockey players love beards. And uh, he's a lumberjack as well. Lumberjacks love beards. You can see the trees in the background. He's got gloves. He's got the classic. And it's, not, it's not a plaid shirt, but it's kind of the style of shirts that the lumberjacks wear. Yeah. Hockey uh, helmet on. Hockey helmet, yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Number three, the Camelton Tigers. Really, really, really like this logo. Uh, the that tiger is designed very well. I love the 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 detail in the, in the claws in the face. It's great. Mm -hmm. I really, really like this. Yeah, and the, the bridge in the background with the shield and the shield there. Yeah, I think that's the Van Horn Bridge goes over to Quebec, um, over to Cross Point as we call it, or Point à la Croix as they would call it from the other side. Well yeah. done. Nice looking uh, logo. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, All right, Saint Stephen Aces. I. I'm not sure if they're still in St. Stephen. I, I'm not entirely sure. I think they, I think they are, but or maybe they came from somewhere to St. Stephen. I'm not sure, but okay. the Aces. So clearly, aviation geeks here. You more so than me, but uh, we love aviation. Mm -hmm. I had to put this up there. You got a, which I, I an image which I think is an, an F-18 Hornet down Looks like the it. bottom yeah. right there, which Twin is tail. the Canadian. Um, yeah. CF-18 is a Canadian one. F-18 is American. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's our main fighter jet right He's now. A, yeah, fighter jets. Yeah. <laughs> the main Canadian military or yeah. Air Force fighter jet. Fighter jet. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I like this a lot. I like, uh, I like the colors. I like green and blue together, even though Justin doesn't. And he'll probably laugh at me even mentioning this because he says it all the time. But, yeah, I like uh, blue and I like green. I like planes. 
Number two. There you go. Yeah, looks good. Number one, the Edmondson Blizzard. And I think this logo is, is new as of this year or wow. next year. It was just redesigned. I absolutely love this logo. This I love great. the colors. It's cold. You can see the icicles kind of coming down off the letters. It's got a scratchy, like cold wind kind of blizzard snow going through. He's blowing the cool air, the blizzard. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> you better get out of yes. the way. Yeah. I like it a lot. That's very, very nice. Yeah, it's well done. Well done. Mm. I like Good job, Emmiston, whoever designed this logo. Boom. Good job. Bon job. Boom. Yeah. All right, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you, My pleasure. your commentary. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you guys in a future video because we're going to do lots more logo, logo videos as well. We're going to do all the leagues, so no need to all, we're keep, keep on requesting them <laughs> down below. We're going to do them all. Don't worry. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, I hope you hit the subscribe button so we can so you can see future videos on post to post. And otherwise, we'll see you in those ones. Adios.